beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Um, I want to start off with thanking you all for the um, beautiful comments that you've left in my last video. Um, I'm fine. I'm just <clears throat> life, if you know what I mean. But it is what it is. So today we're going to do a sort of a bling bling. I had to get the crown back on. I haven't had it on in a while. So this project I've had in my brain since hmm, almost a year. I was going to initially make it for my son-in-law for his birthday. Him and I share the same birthday in July. And I had this, I bought this PDF because I've seen paintings of this. I've seen um, copper cutouts of this. So what I was thinking on doing was making my son and my son-in-law both play guitar. So I was going to do this sunset guitar on a, can a wooden base. Um, I've got a wooden base to play with. My initial one, I'm going to, if it works out that I like it, I'm going to make a bigger version for my son-in-law. But this one I have is a, I think this is 11 by, let me see, let me see. We'll put it this way. It fits on this canvas I have here is 12 by 16 so I was debating to put it on this canvas because it would fit quite nice but this one's a dollar store one and I was thinking maybe putting resin on top and I don't know so we're gonna have to make a big decision my friends so what I'm gonna do is I did a test on the back this is my really nice canvas this one I bought where I buy my Triart liquid glass. This is the same company. It is from Support Surface. I'll put that in there so you can see it. It is a birch wood. I'm pretty sure it's birch wood. And this one is a 12 by 24. Um, it is 12. Oh, let me see how much was how much does it cost me? $17.20 for this wooden canvas. Crazy. So in my brain, I thought I would initially thought it would be nice to do like an ombre sunset paint on the back, put this on, trace it, and then put it on with a glue gun. And then I'm going to come back with it and use some copper rose gold foil and then maybe put a coat of resin on top. So that's what my brain was thinking. This was, like I said, way back, way, way back. So I tested out the, I have this huge can of accent stain and it is in, what color is it? It is midnight blue. And this is old, my friends. I used to do a lot of my wood pieces. I would stain it this blue and then do my paints on top when I was doing toll painting. So I played around with a little stain on the back just to see if it works. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to prime my sides because I want to leave the sides wood and I'm going to come back. I'll have my crown off. I'll have my working clothes on and we're going to debate like I really want to use this canvas, but I think this picture would be too small on it. Like, look at... So that's the only reason why I might not use this one. Oh, we'll see. We'll probably end up using the small one. So anyways, so I'm going to get my stuff together. We are going to stain tape. And then we're going to get the, the glue gun I got for Christmas. Thank you, Ben and Kim. Uh, we're going to use that and some gold leaf so i'll see you guys once i'm all ready go grab a drink go grab a coffee get a snack so with that being said i'll see you guys in a few minutes okay guys i am back i am all ready um i'm just using this is just a beauty tone paintbrush just something i did i was going to use a piece of cloth um, just to put the stain on, but I opted to use this. I can wash it out, so that's not a problem. I'm trying to be neat, so I've got a paper towel over here. 
I've got my big can. I've given it a really good shake, but I'm going to give it a quick little stir. Because like I said, I haven't used this in so long. And it's just such a pretty color and it's just stain. I'm, I'm impressed. So what I've done is I've taped off the edges and on these boards, I'm going to open this. This is, and again, I'm, I might not work, might not be happy with what I'm doing, but this is just a dollar store wooden canvas. It's a 12 by 16, 12 by 16. And as you notice, when they make these boards, they have a top layer. My glove is so big on me. They have a top layer and then this is a different board. So kind of what I tried to do was tape the board so that I left just that little rim of the top board. And I am going to stain, try to anyways, I might do that first, stain the edge. And then I finished taping it all off just in case I want to put resin on and then we'll be good to go. I'm just going to snip here. So when I do put a cup, because I'm going to raise this up on a cup and we'll be all ready to go. Half the battle is the preparation, right? That's why no one likes painting their house. Half the prep is, half the battle is the prep. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So that's all good. So right now I'm just gonna leave it laying on my puppy pad. I'm gonna get this in. And when you always, no matter what you do with wood, you always wanna go with the grain. Don't go this way. Can you see the grain in this wood is going this way. So for the it to absorb it more, you wanna work with the grain, not against. So I'm just gonna put some in here. And actually, what I should do is get a cloth ready just in case I want to wipe it off in case it's too dark. Ta -da! A little more in here. Sorry. All right, here we go, friends. And you want to work fast. Oh, I think that'll be pretty. Dip it in again, a little bit off. And you wanna make sure you don't do blobbies because they will show. And I'm just going up and down, up and down more. Work it through. I like the idea that it gives a different variation. And this should be the last. check the sides and I should have got the sides because of the way I was brushing it so let's do one last even coat Awesome. Now I'm just going to come through and there are some bits. So I'm just doing this. Probably could just dip a little bit in more into the paint, even though it's stained, and do this. Yeah, and that way it's an even. And go upward because you do not want it to seep under your paint, right? And I'm going to take one second and just wipe my tape off, just so I don't make a mess. Do the same with this side. Dip it in just a little. My hand. 
and sorry my arm is probably in your way and I like using it this way because up and down because then you're not messing with the top the top still looks the same this side's pretty good but I'm just gonna make sure and we won't know until I reveal all this at the end and we'll do this one really quick and then I'll wipe off this one actually came across pretty good they're perfect all four sides done and the top just wiping that off so I don't I know it'll dry but that way I'm not making more of a mess than I already am there we go that is our stained that is really pretty now what I'm going to do, because I'm going to be down here with you guys, I am going to put this in a baggie because I don't want to ruin this. This is a nice brush. I'm going to put it in a baggie just to keep it moist. And then when I go upstairs, I will give it a good wash up in the sink. Just want to make sure everything's touching. And then I'm just going to, I'm impressed. I didn't make much of a mess. I'm just going to make sure I close the lid on this in case I accidentally knock it over. And look, I'm impressed. I didn't make too much of a mess. So there we go. Now I am going to take my gloves off and we're going to see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so much for the glove. <laughs> I've got a hole in it. Wow. So I'm going to just double check because it's hard to touch, taste, test it if it is dry. I'm going to give it a blow dry with my dryer. It's still a little damp. So what I'm going to do is put these on some cups just to raise it up off of the, the table for me. And we're going to I'm going to get my little blow dryer out and we're going to just help this dry a little bit. So when I come back, I'll have everything ready to do my stencil on here. And you're not in there, but I'm going to figure it out. So I'm going to let this dry. And then when we come back, where did I put my little guy? We're going to put this on there. I think that'll be perfect. And I want to make sure that's dry because I'm going to probably stick a piece of tape or two on here just to see and all I'm doing is outline outlining all of that so I'll be back in a sec guys okay guys I am back this is dry it just looks so pretty you know I'm sitting here looking at it and I'm like oh my god you can do um do this as a base on wood it wouldn't work on a canvas and then you can outline all of these and it looks like mountains to me. So I thought it was, anyways, that's just my brain. <laughs> so I've cut out around my um, transfer thing that I'm going to do. And like I said, I bought this on Etsy. It was an SVG for the Cricut machine. I'm just taping here. Um, and I have a hard time linking anything from Etsy. So I'm going to try to link it for you guys. But I just Googled Guitar Sunset SVG. So I have tracing paper. I got mine on Amazon. It has all kinds of colors. Just in case you're doing something like a black canvas, you've got yellow you can use. There's white. I think there's green. I don't know why you would need green. But anyway, so I've, I did a little test here and it did work. So I was able to wipe it off. So this is just reuse, reuse until you don't need it anymore. So I'm going to do this. And all I'm doing is outlining. Uh, let me get my fingers in here. Outlining. So you can use a pencil. You can use a pen. You can use a stylist. It's got like a nice tip. But the only thing is when you use a stylist, you you can see because you're going to groove, obviously, but um, you won't see a line of where you've already traced. So I've opted. I've got a red pen. 
and we're just going to go for it. I'm going to start over here and just outline everything. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're just going to use a glue gun. I'm just going to do a basic outline, then come in and do, and you want to press so you're making sure that you are getting, you don't want to move it either. And you see, I'm not making, you know, it's just estimation. We're going over this with a glue gun. So just a rough, a rough idea. Now I'm just, I am going to circle all these little holes because you kind of want to leave some in so it looks like the tree you can see through the leaves right so you're seeing the sunset through the leaves so I'm just kind of doing that I'll do all those and then I'll come back so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put you on pause I am gonna continue to do all this but I'll fast forward this part for you so you're not being um tortured and i'll see you guys when we're at the end i'll see you in a sec okay guys i'm back i've got my big glue gun i'm hoping i can do this <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start here because this here, I'll show you what I'm doing because I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to start here because that's where this starts. And I'm going to go from here down because it's a bigger thing. And then these are the other um, nozzles I purchased. They're different shaped. One's a little smaller. Oh. One's a little smaller. One is oval. And one is angled so i don't know if that'll make a difference and then if i need it i plugged in my little wee guy so all right here we go so we're going to start down here hopefully i don't make a mess I almost went up this line. That's so funny. All right. Yeah, I think I may have to use the little one. What I'm going to do is come down the center. I'm having a hard time seeing it as well. It's hard to get the little the little grooves. here I'm gonna bring this here so I can actually kind of see a little better and then straight up with the building guys go 
just a little bit smaller. And then you finish off. And I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing to flip it over so I can work easier for me. So sorry if I'm... And then just fill in the center. Up the little hips. Now I'm going to flip this so I can see now. All right. To do the, the buildings, because you want them to be square, do the dot and then come down. I think this is going to be cool. All right, let's get this. But I will definitely be using the other the glue gun, I think, for the other spot. Perfect. That looks good. Good to practice. That's why I thought I'd do this one. Maybe I'll try and even out that line so it's not like a lump there. Hmm. Where do I go? Where do I go now? Okay, you know what? Maybe I will try it with this. We'll just start here because it's not. All right, let's go. Don't want strings. And then. You can tell I'm concentrating. I'm quiet. Perfect. So that's kind of... Eh, that's not what I want to do. I was just wanting to see if it was dry. If it was... <laughs> oh. Live and learn. Live and learn. Let's smooth it out. There we go. I guess it's going to go white, eh, when it goes dry? <laughs> All right. It's just hard to kind of see. I'm just going to maybe tape that there so you can kind of see what I'm trying to do. So I kind of got here. Ah, my finger's out of it. <laughs> and we'll go here. And then bring them in together. Well, that's a good way to do it. Bring it in and drop it. Come high. And then drop it.
these are kind of attached here. just kind of figuring out. I've never really used the glue gun, the new one yet. So it's kind of hard to... So I'm gonna... Fill in the center spot. I'm just gonna do different sections. Went through another one. Let me grab. I only got two more. Let's do the sun, and then I'm going to grab the little one, and I'll do the detailed with the little. <clears throat> Let me just whoop, get that off. Sorry. And this gun's a little heavier to use than the other one, which I already knew that was going to be. Perfect. I'm impressed. Doesn't look too bad, right? I'm hoping you can see it. You can, you'll be able to see it when it goes white. Now let me grab the little guy. Oh, this one's got no trigger. I have to push. All right. And then I'm going to try to get, all right, let me see what I'm doing here. All right, so we're going to do, <clears throat> oops, Some little trees here, it's hard to, glue everywhere. <laughs> All right, another stick. Trying to see. It's hard to... Smooth that out. Okay, and then bring a little bit of the tree down. line a little more jagged. find my other glue gun with the trigger. All 
right. Now I need to get this. Do the tree line. One, two, three. I'm just trying to find because I'm having a hard time seeing the. Probably should have done it a different color. I'm meaning the. Uh, <clears throat> I probably should have done the white or the copper, uh, carbon copper. Transferring stuff. We got half, I kind of a little bit of textured on the top there. So now what I'm going to do is flip it around. It's the only good thing. Get all of this off the bottom before I So that looks pretty good. Can you see it? Now I'm going to flip it around so I can do the top. I'm trying to get this so it's no stringies. That's taking a while to poop it. I'm going to just bring some more glue on the top. I messed that up. It won't be Do the same down here. There. All right, so let's get another glue stick in here. And I'm going to flip this this way, but I'll move it so I don't put <laughs> that glue down there so I can see. All right. Let's start over here. Oh, my goodness. You can see where this tree goes. I'm just trying to, ah, this one, there we go. Just want to get the edges of the treetop. There we go. And then I'll come in and do all the little branches. Which is easier to see because you're going to silhouette each one, right?
go. Another stick in here. And I can probably fill all that in with the bigger one. Perfect. Now I'm going to do one here, one here. There. And then we're going to fill in the rest. Oh my goodness, I think we're done. So I'm going to take the big guy and then just kind of Whoops, I keep hitting that silly thing. I'm trying to get the little strings off. There we go. Okay, now we're just... Ah! I just put my hand in the glue. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay. Here we go. And if there's little gaps, it don't matter because remember I had all those little wee holes that I was trying to... Oh, I better work fast. I think my battery died on this guy. All right, just a little bit left here. All right, I'm not gonna. Whoop, I'm not gonna use that guy because it's dead. I think that's pretty cool. It looks what it's supposed to look like. Isn't that amazing? Here, let me grab my little. I had a little exacto knife. Hence the word "had." Here we go. Perfect. And I'm just gonna come in and try and get rid of all the little bits and pieces that I don't want on, right? So I'm going to lift this one up, try and get in there and cut it, because I don't want to cut the board. Come on. Oh, we need a piece here. So let me, got my little one still hot. Okay. So let's redo this little. Looking to see if there's anywhere else. Oh, here, there's quite a few gaps. I don't mind some, but there we go. that's it. I don't want to play with it anymore because I don't want to ruin what I think is good. The only thing is I want this down here to be smooth. I wonder if I can put more. Oh, what do we got going on there? Alright, 
I'm just going to put some glue in there. want it to be kind of like the, the shape of the water, right? So I'm going to try and get these so that they're um, back and forth jagged. Does that make sense? Like here. Give it that little rippled effect. I'm hoping when you put on the gold leaf or the silver or whatever you're using. Perfect. Okay. And this moony thing, I'm going to sun. I'm going to try. Here down go. There, I'm gonna leave it. I just wanted to make sure the moon, the sun, keep calling it moon. Oh, it could be either, I guess. There. So I'm gonna let that cool down. I'm gonna get my gold leaf. And, oh, I'm excited. I think that looks pretty, pretty darn cool myself. And it's quite the dimension. I don't know if it's showing, but you can, it's quite, parts of it's quite raised. Probably could come in here, being that, that, yeah, I think I will do that. Because the bottom I put extra down. Let me see. There we go. I'm just going to bring it so that it's more... more raised like the bottom. And of course the glue stick is not cooperating. Getting all my little wigglies that I don't want. There we go. Someone told me to take my blow dryer and just blow dry it and they'll all shrink in. So I'll probably do that in a bit. Whoop. There we go. And then if you wiggle it too, it gives it more of a leafy I guess, texture on the top. It's almost done, almost done. So 
There we go. I think that's cool. There's a little more texture on the top and the bottom. Do I? No, I'm leaving it. We're done. Step away from the glue gun. So there we go. Looks perfect. So I'm going to grab my um, leafing I had. It was right here. I bought these all on Amazon. So this is like a copper. So I'm going to set that aside over here and we're just going to plop um, sheets on and then take a very, very soft brush and uh, go around with it. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we are back. Oh my goodness, I'm nervous. So I'm just taking each sheet and I am trying to just place it. And I'm going to overlap. I've just got this um, makeup brush I, I found upstairs. I was trying to find something that was soft and that I could use. And I want to try to use the full sheet. I don't know if it makes... As opposed to keep putting little pieces on because... Um, I'm not sure if it makes a difference or not, but we're going to do it that way. Let's see where it goes from there. Like this one I could do, and then take this part off. And put down here. All right, now I'm just going to get in and get all the nooks and crannies, and hopefully it'll stick. I've never done it with a glue gun, so. Just a soft, and then just brush it all around. Oh my gosh, it's going to work. I'm impressed. Look at that! It's working! Oh my goodness! It's working! And then if you see bits and pieces that aren't covered, just keep placing more on top. I'm just going to put this on and then I'm, what I'm going to do is come back and if I need to put more sheets, I'll put more sheets. Fun. I'm 
finding. You get a better shiny when it's a full sheet. Now, what I'm going to do is take a puppy pad upside down and shake it off so I have something for it to stick to. And then I can see more of where I need to <clears throat> do a little bit of... Here, I'm going to take this, these for just a second. Because I want to be able to use these. These would be good to use in... <clears throat> Here. These you could use in resin. So I'm going to get a bigger brush and just try and brush off the excess. And then come back in and do it again. Just get rid of all the loose. this in half and then I'm gonna put these back come back in and try and do some more like that. that just is so gorgeous I am just when something turns out I freak out sometimes I'm wondering if it's the different types of glue that um, the leaf isn't sticking quite right too. <clears throat> so let's get another sheet and try and do here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come in with my sizing and brush where it is not sticking. Which is, I don't understand why. Try and clean up more, most of what the edging. Like I don't know why it's not sticking here and here. Try it again. I don't know. It's too bad because it, it looks so pretty. Let me just, I really want to clean up the edges in here. Maybe I'll use the other side to get the, the stiffer brush. I want to get the edges of the trees nice and sharp, not loose.
All right. I just want to... Sorry, I know you're right out of frame. I was just trying to brush off all the excess. All right. And of course, the gold leaf goes on all of the straggle, but not the actual <laughs> glue. That is so sad. But I'm impressed. It looks so good, though. Now you can see the difference when you put the full sheet on. It looks like it looks like it's liquid gold. Like, is that not amazing? Even if I didn't put the other ones on, oh, I'm impressed with that. That's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do. Right now, I'm going to take off the tape. I want to see if the edge is good because I might put a coat of resin on this. So I'm going to take off the tape. I shouldn't have done. Here, let me see. I want to see how clean my line is from the... Uh, From me staining the, the top part. If I can just catch an edge of it so I can un. That's not the part I want. That's so funny. Too funny. It's coming. There we go. There we go. Because if it didn't work, yeah, see it bled. So I'm wondering if maybe I should just stain. Because I thought it would be nice. Or, oh, you know what I could do? Is um, copper leaf the sides. Oh, that would be nice. There we go. Yeah, I was thinking the wood on the edge, but I think that's good. So, okay, guys, um, I'm going to pick my brain for a sec and see what I can do other than putting um, my sizing on. I don't know what else to do with that. So, because it should, by rights, be sticking because it's stuck to the other glue. Like, I don't. I don't understand. Like even when I'm putting it on, it's still not sticking. That's weird. That's weird. All right. I'll be back, guys. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, guys. I am back. I'm going to apply some of my adhesive size. This is, I got this from Michael's. Um, it is for metal leafing, it says here. So you, what you do is you apply it on where you want the, um, the gold leafing or whatever it is you're going to use. Oh my goodness. To, um, it's, oh gosh, there we go. Sorry. So uh, sound like I was giving birth there for a second. <laughs> so what it is, is it's almost like a glue and it adheres you have to let it dry so that it goes sticky so i'm just gonna get in here with this brush and try to to get because this brush is a little bit harder than the other one and get in and get all the things that are a little bit loose so i could actually 
put some of this leafing on there. I don't know if it was the different glue or what. I have no idea why. To me, it should have stuck to everything, but... All right, I'm just going to shake this off back here. Actually, you know what? My blow dryer and give it a good blow. Get rid of all the... That's too funny. Get rid of all the, the loose little things. Let's see. I did have a paintbrush. There it is. there. All right, so now I'm going to take this brush with this gold leafing and I'm going to apply it to where I see all the bald spots. So we got some in here, here, because you really don't want to see the glue. And you have to let it dry till it goes tacky. Because if you've watched, I've, <laughs> I've used the gold leafing before, but um, make sure you don't get it on the wood. Sorry. I used the gold leafing before, but I had a hard time <clears throat> with it uh, sticking because... Um, I didn't let it dry to go tacky. So I'm just trying to not go on the, the wood itself. And go in where all of these little crevices where they didn't take. which to me is weird, but you know, Sherry's weird anyway, so par for the course, eh? And if this ever happens to you, so now hopefully this will work and you'll know what to do. You probably could use Mod Podge. I just have this and that's what it's for, so I thought I would give it a try. This is where it all went awry. So I was wondering if it was because of the different types of glue. I'm just going to do the whole thing. Let me grab. Oh, and I probably can't find them. I thought I had q tips here, but I don't see them. But I want to get the spit out of there. So we got some there, gonna do it here. 
And the next time I'm going to do the next one, I will make sure that my sun is even and nice and especially on the top part because you're not getting the, I might as well just do the whole thing. I'm just going to do the whole thing down here. Tell I'm concentrating. I'm quiet. Pretty sure that's all in there. Let me just get a little bit that's here. This edge. Just looking to see on all the edges of the trees. That's good. Excuse me. Still got that little tickle, guys. I don't know. I'm just getting all in there because I want to make sure. It all goes. I don't want to do it. Have to do it again. I can't remember if I did this little spot, but I want to do this just to make sure. I can't remember if I did this spot or not. <laughs> I know it's the upper part, but I don't think I did the bottom. We'll just what is with that? There, Took that right off. All right, just one more quick look, and I think we are done. Let me just get a little because I'm not sure if I did it in here in the top up here. In here. There. All right. I'm going to put the lid on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
to help it along. I might just take my blow dryer just to try and dry it a little bit. Okay, that's tacky. I just got a lot right there, so I'm going to wait a second. I just blew everything off to the side here. All right, so let's go. We'll start on the top because I know this part up here is dry. So let's try this again. All right. We'll go. Yeah, well, I guess it's going there too. My brush. I'm going to lay it all down because I don't want it to. Um, woo. Okay, I'm going to break this part because I don't want it to be wrinkled. Oh, come on. Oh, it's sticking to me. I don't want it to stick to me. Pulling it. Let's see a piece that's not there. Let's see, we'll just start doing it this way. Aha, I think that's easier. And then we will go. All right, let's see what we can do now. Oops, I see some in here. Okay, let me get my brush. That's awesome. That worked. I'm just going to take the other end of this brush. Oh, this is, this is good. So you probably could as well just do the gold leafing with the, the sizing. As opposed to doing the glue gun. Ah, 
Well, again, there's still a couple pieces. That's crazy. I love the idea that it almost looks like you're varnishing it. All right, let me just move this over here. I'm going to pick this up and we're going to do the same thing. I want to get what I can on the inside of this. And then I will put this all in the container and we can reuse that and something else. Let's put these in here so they don't fly away on me. And we'll get the big brush again and we'll brush everything off. way. I'm seeing little bristles. Sorry guys, I didn't realize I wasn't looking up at my, my screen. I apologize. All right. That's it. We are done. There we go. Let me just get this folded in half so I'm not going to make a mess of everything. And there we go, guys. That is it. Now there is... I'm going to come up and clean out... There's a spot here. Oh, it's still, I can feel it. I don't know if you heard it. It sounded sticky. hand maybe not and it looks like down here let me see oh that did work all right so let me grab another because I see a couple of pieces that are on the bottom down here. Another piece here. Mm -hmm. I see one little piece on the top up here. Because it all, it still feels tacky, but I just didn't, it didn't um, stick in there. And I see another little piece here. And little wee piece there. Let's see if we can get another. There, I think that's it. So I'm going to scrape the rest of all that off. I'm impressed. It actually worked. It's kind of scary. Oh, that's too funny. I had foils done on my nails. 
Now I got a little more gold on this end. <laughs> That is done my friends now I think I am just going to take the sides and I don't know do I copper leaf the, so the sides okay let me see I see one piece right here I want to make sure because there's it you can really see it when I hold it this way I want to make sure that it's in there and it might not stick let me see if I can get this no nope, it's not gonna stick all right Perfect. So my brush is still here with the stain in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these and move this back down in my little container so I don't make a mess everywhere. And I'm going to <clears throat> do I cold leaf the sides or do I not? Decision. Hmm. I think we'll stain it. Okay. I'm going to get everything ready and we will stain the edge and then we'll be done. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, I got my stain out. I'm going to just get some on my brush again. And oh, it's got some gold leaf in there. And we are just going to stand it up and we're going to quickly go this way. And then this way. And then that way it doesn't affect the top. And you know, you could have, I didn't even think about it. I could have even done the gold paint like I did with my my um, Queen Anne's lace painting I did with the glue gun all right I have to pick this up There's a piece of gold leaf there. There we go. All right, on the side. I won't torture you with all of them, but that's what I'm gonna do and let it dry. So I will see you guys when I'm done. I'm just gonna yeah, I'll put you in pause. I'll fast forward the rest and I'll see you in a sec. All right, my friends, I have done all of the sides. They are more or less dry. Now I am taking my creepy stamp and I'm going to stamp the back of this. Get our ink pad. Make sure it's well inked. And... We're going to go over here. And then I'm going to use just a Sharpie. Oh, look at that, it's on the end. And we will do. Mm 
There we go. It is official. I'm not going to do anything on the front of it. I am not going to seal it because I think I like the contrast of the matteness of the stain. And it's stained, so it's not like it's going to, you can't wipe it off. And I love the shininess of the gold leaf. So I am going to show you my creepy. And this is how I do the backs of my paintings. Perfect, eh? That's kind of creepy. That was I creepy and cute. I thought the little stamp was cute. So with that, I'm going to hang it behind me on my rack and I will give you a close up. I'll see you in a sec. There you go, guys. I think it turned out amazing. That is amazing. And I even have rainbow colored like I've got. I bought a kit off of Amazon and it has I think 15 different colors. This would be awesome. You could actually like do the sun in the yellow and you can do like fire. Yes, yeah, so you can do anything with this. This is cool. So the next time I do it, whoops, sorry. The next time I do it, I don't like this idea where I came up, oh, sorry, where I came over the glue. And I don't like that line. That would be nice to be one straight line. The sun, I would love to have it just like a piece of cake. You know what I mean? Like a now down here, I like this aspect because it's supposed to be like that with the water. And I love the upper part, how it did that with the trees. So the next time I do it, I will be mindful of the sun and the guitar handle. But, oh my God, guys, other than that, I think it is amazing. So I think I'm going to give this to my son for his uh, new place he's getting. I think this would be awesome. So with that, I hope you enjoyed today's, not quite a bling bling, but you know, it's a different kind of bling bling. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, give it a share. And if you have not yet been subscribed, please, please subscribe. Um, it would help my channel out amazingly. Help me get to that next level on YouTube. So here's my long winded exit, my lovely people. So in the description box, there will have the links to everything I used today. There will also be the links to all my amazing sponsors. I love to give them a shout out in every video. Um, so here we go. Here's the links to Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts molds. I have the links to where to purchase molds and shapes molds. I have the links to Let's Resin with my discount code of Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I have the links to Crystal Resin with my discount code of Sherry Molten 5, capital S. I also have the links to my two amazing Lores distributors. I have um, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. She's got much more than Lores. Um, my discount code for her is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And last but not least, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru, my American Lores distributor. Go check out her website and my discount code for Laura is Sherry, all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10%. And with that, my PayPal link is there if you choose to donate and help support my channel. With that, my amazing people, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.